DNA methylation, the epigenetics of ageing. All cells in our body contain the same DNA, so how do muscle cells know to be muscle cells and brain cells know to be brain cells? Our bodies control which genes are active in which part of our body. One mechanism of controlling genes is called DNA methylation. This is a process in which methyl groups are added to the DNA molecule. This inhibits transcription of that gene. In other words, it turns the gene off. Methylation changes the expression of DNA without changing the actual sequence. It has recently been discovered that DNA methylation patterns can be used as an accurate multi-tissue biomarker of aging. This was a breakthrough in the world of genetics, as this method applies to all sources of DNA, cells, tissues and organs, and across the entire duration of the human lifespan. This is what we refer to as the epigenetic clock. This leads us to two concepts, chronological age, which is the calendar time that has passed since birth, and biological age, which is the functional capability of a person or organ and how it changes with age. Instead of using chronological age, which isn't a great measure of the aging process, we can identify biomarkers that can accurately predict biological age. This is where DNA methylation comes in. So, how does it work? Biological age can be accurately estimated based on levels of methylation in 353 CPG dinucleotide markers. A CPG dinucleotide is a region of DNA where a cytosine nucleotide is followed by a guanine nucleotide. Cytosines in CPG dinucleotides can be methylated. As mentioned earlier, this turns the gene off. The level of DNA methylation changes in certain parts of the genome as we age. This DNA methylation data is coupled with a mathematical algorithm to estimate age. Most tissues and organs from the same body exhibit broadly similar ages. This similarity of DNA methylation age across all tissues is especially highlighted by brain and blood cells. These cell types replicate and regenerate at very different rates, yet have similar epigenetic age estimates. The rate of change of methylation at clock CPGs, which is the ticking rate of the epigenetic clock, is faster during growth and development. The epigenetic clock then slows down to a constant ticking rate after adulthood. Those with an epigenetic age that is older than their chronological age are described as exhibiting positive epigenetic age acceleration, whereas individuals with an epigenetic age that is younger than their chronological age would be described as having negative age acceleration. What is special about methylation clocks is the fact that they are highly correlated with mortality. A large-scale study found that for each year of difference between chronological age and biological age, so if you're 53 years old and the methylation clock shows 54, it increases a person's risk of mortality by 2 to 4%. The associations between epigenetic age acceleration and mortality were similar across subgroups of race, sex, BMI, smoking status, and physical activity status. This suggests that DNA methylation relates to a natural aging process that is under genetic control. So basically, epigenetic age, determined by DNA methylation patterns, is far more accurate at predicting all cause mortality than chronological age and traditional risk factors, such as smoking or obesity. It is worth noting that it is not yet known what exactly is measured by DNA methylation age. Are methylation changes of CPGs driving aging, or are they consequences of aging? Perhaps the most exciting feature of DNA methylation biomarkers is that epigenetic changes are reversible. This makes DNA methylation a target for creating therapeutic approaches aimed at slowing the inevitable process of aging. DNA methylation as an epigenetic biomarker may help us find the answer to the central question, why do we age?